Hello, my name is Simon, and welcome to AFC Bournemouth Analysis. Here's my take on our dismal defeat to Burnley, with a little bit of a preview of the Southampton game chucked in. Uh, Josh King finally got on the score sheet again. Uh, it's been a while since he scored since Everton, so it was good to see him chip in. Uh, and Lewis Cook got some minutes on the pitch, and uh, that's that's about it. Uh, yeah, Lewis Cook getting minutes on the pitch was part of the reason why we were so bad, because for some reason it took us an hour to realise that, yes, the midfield um, that we played against Swansea wasn't going to work yet again in terms of creating any chances. Um, Burnley were incredibly well organised um, and are a very good side, one of the best I think we've faced at home actually. Um, I think they're, yeah, one of the best. Um, and yeah, but we made it so easy for them. What was worrying is I thought that they had another gear to go into if they needed to. Um, and yeah, they held us off with ridiculous ease for nearly the whole game. Our goal came out of pretty much nothing. Uh, it was kind of a lucky kind of cross come shot. Um, and yeah, we didn't really create anything after that. We didn't really create anything before it either. Uh, and part of the problem was the midfield. Uh, Andrew Sermon and Harry Arty yet again creating very little. And on the wings, Jordan Ibe and Mark Pugh just looking out of their depth. Uh, I think Pugh is done at this level and Jordan Ibe uh, was never even on this level, I don't think, or has ever been on this level. So yeah, there was huge problems in the middle of the park. Uh, defensively, we looked shaky as well. In fact, the whole team looked shaky. Um, there really wasn't any zip to the play. Um, there were balls given away constantly. In fact, I think uh, both our goals that we conceded were because we gave the ball away so cheaply in the middle. Um, the first one because of Steve Cook and the second one, Jordan Ibe. Um, so yeah, it was just a really off-colour performance and we needed to, you know, not... We needed to put in at least a competent performance to get anywhere near Burnley and we didn't even do that. So yeah, they were, they were worthy winners in the end. But yeah, I've touched on it before, but our complete uh, lack of zip and pace uh, was really alarming. Um, I don't think we've really played well all season across a whole match, to be honest. Maybe Man City, but that's really it. I think our results earlier this month against Newcastle, Huddersfield and Swansea all relied on quite a hefty slice of luck. Um, and yeah, I don't think we really played hugely well in any of those games. We played well in small patches on nearly all of them, apart from maybe Swansea. But... Yeah, I think we've been flattering to deceive for quite a while now, all season arguably, and uh, this Burnley game felt like the cultivation of it, um, with Lewis Cook not playing, uh, getting a crowd that wasn't really in the game, uh, that was really the only thing they were cheering for, for him to come on, and eventually he did. But yeah, our, our complete lack of attacking now or threat was really, really ugly and just not pleasant to watch at all. Uh, not many moments really from this game as you'd expect, but personally I thought um, the moment where Lewis Cook came on and then immediately turned his Burnley marker and moved forward with the ball just showed exactly what we were missing for that whole game and arguably for much of this season. Um, yeah, so that, that was great to see that he immediately came on and made the impact that we all knew he could, but for some reason Eddie Howe just won't play him. Um, but yeah, he has to play him on Sunday against Southampton if he doesn't. There will be serious question marks about what is Eddie Howe's really thought process to picking the team. Um, yeah, because he's relying too much on the old guard and he's not picking players that are in form over players that are out of form. Um, and to be honest, I've seen enough of Jordan Ibe losing the ball, of Simon Francis just punting the ball aimlessly forward when he's when he put on it under any kind of pressure. I've had enough of it. Uh, so it would be nice to uh, just, I think the changes need to be rung against Southampton, two or three at least. Yeah, a few of you have been in touch uh, to tell me what needs to change from Wednesday moving into Sunday, so thanks so much for that. Uh, the first was from AFCB Bob, who said, Play 3-5-2, Lewis Cook and Sermon playing next to each other, King in behind two strikers, Wilson and Afobe as Defoe needs to be managed with frequent injuries being a problem this season. Same goes for Stanislas, who should be on the bench as he's too important to the team to risk him. Uh, yeah, who would have thought you'd be saying that three years ago about Stanislas being possibly our most important midfield player. Uh, it's madness, but yeah, he does link the play incredibly well. We do really miss him when he's not playing. And from maybe having too many wingers, or like when we were in for wingers, people were like, oh no, not, not another winger. Uh, now we arguably don't really have any quality on the wings apart from Stanislas, really. So yeah, he's got to come back. 
and uh, I agree that there needs to be some rotation and five in midfield sounds good to me. Uh, I prefer 4-5-1. I think we've played well in that formation before, but we've also played well in 3-5-2. So yeah, I don't really mind as long as there's five across the middle. I think that suits us much better because I don't think we have the midfielders to play two. Uh, we just don't have the strength or the physical stature to, to play to. I mean, Sermon and Arta were swamped against Burnley because they played five in the middle, uh, and I, I, I saw that coming. I think most people did, and yeah, you know, it still happens. So there we go. Uh, next, uh, Brendan Guy, also on Twitter, said, Start Lewis Cook. Midfield has no creativity. Love Arta, Pew and Sermon, but no one is providing the top two. Ibe should be dropped. He's back to doing nothing. Stanislas can't come back soon enough. Yeah, I Jordan Ibe, I mean, really... Uh, that Brighton game, he thought, finally, this is it, this is his moment. But no, it was just another false dawn, uh, and he's just, his confidence is completely shot. Um, the first 10 minutes he was okay, but then after making a couple of errors, he just then he just settled into a rut of just making the same mistake over and over and over again. And yeah, I think Ryan Fraser needs to play. Uh, Ryan Fraser and Stanislas, I think, are our two best wingers. Um Probably, unless you put King on the wing and then Wilson up top in a 4-5-1, uh, which I wouldn't mind either, but again, that's kind of putting players that have played well for us in their wrong positions, so yeah, I don't really know, uh, to be honest, but I definitely agree that Lewis Cook has to play. Uh, I think that's pretty obvious to everyone now, and hopefully Eddie Howe. Uh, and then Nors13 also on Twitter replied uh, to Brendan Guy's comment saying, I miss the new Walcott. I think that's a bit harsh on Walcott, to be honest. I think Walcott had achieved some things uh, before he made his big move to Arsenal. But yeah, there is there is a feeling of the Walcott about Ibe, and uh, I wish there wasn't, but there is. Uh, yeah, that's, that's all for this video. Uh, sorry for the low picture quality and possible sound quality. Um, I'm travelling at the moment, so recording these is quite difficult. But um, yeah, I've, I've done my best, and hopefully this comes out reasonably competently. Uh, pr probably not. But uh, yeah, do uh, follow ASCB Analysis on Twitter and Facebook. The URLs are here, and they're also in the video description if they're not here. Um, and yeah, just contribute before and after games, and you'll get included in the Have Your Say section. Uh, I also write for Yahoo Sport about AFC Bournemouth, and my latest post, a link to it, is in this video's description. It's about Eddie Howe and why he was so stubborn and why that came back to haunt him on Wednesday. Um, yes. So please do like this video, comment, let me know what you think, subscribe to the channel, it really helps. Uh, and yeah, thanks so much for watching, and up the cherries in all departments.